Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. I ran across this little couplet recently. It says, my diet is balanced, my food is the best, but it's the words I have eaten I cannot digest. Aren't there times when just in an unguarded moment, out comes something and you would do anything? We speak of cutting off our tongue. Oh, if I had only not said that. Oh, if I had only let that gone by, go on by unsaid. Oh, if I had only restrained, guarded myself. Sometime it is the makings of our sanity. There are times when it is the thing that holds us together. I appreciated on occasion the work of the editors of certain newspapers who will from time to time and certain volumes let us know of the humor of those men who were in places of responsibility. And on many occasions, the greats of our nation and other nations have been noted for their ability to laugh in places that no one else saw anything funny. The listener didn't know it, but the one who expressed the sense of humor was simply controlling his sanity. There is just something about a beautiful outlet of well-chosen humor that can be fitted with nothing else. The Proverbs talks about it, and you've seen the verse, 1722. You probably know it before we turn to it. 1722, a joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. You'll have good medicine for yourself and others if you have a joyful countenance, a happy spirit, good, well-chosen humor. There are several tests of good humor. One test is the ability to laugh at your own mistakes. You laugh at your mistakes, or you like the turtle that gets touched on the nose. (laughs) slides in his shell and stays there until he finally forgets he was touched. You're able to laugh at yourself. I remember Dr. Harlan Roper for many years, the pastor of Schofield Memorial Church, choice sense of humor. In fact, it was almost 40 years he pastored that church, and that took a real sense of humor to stay in there that long, I'll tell you. And that gentleman was preaching one Sunday morning, Easter Sunday morning. The place was packed. He was in the midst of this particular point, really going at it, and the alarm on his wristwatch went off. He had forgotten, and he had said it. He was preaching, so he stops, and he turns it off, and he looks up, and the twinkle in his eye, he says, well, I guess it's time for my milk. (laughs) Terrific answer. How many people, oh, no, I forgot to turn my alarm off. You know, just dying within themselves. Good sense of humor you're able to laugh at your mistakes. There's another checkpoint in a sense of humor. Can you restrain it when it isn't fitting? Some people turn their humor into something that is altogether out of taste and unfitting because they put it where it doesn't fit and they force it. There are places where humor has no place. And wise is the person that knows when to turn it off. And then a third checkpoint is, can you enjoy it when you're all alone? (laughs) I laugh because I think of those times that I just laugh out loud at something dumb that I've done or something that I've seen that just seems so funny. And I think probably some of you have had the same experience. There's no place for jesting, but there is every place in the world for good, fitting humor. Many comedians tell jokes about the misfortunes of others. They make us laugh about adultery, poverty, murder, and perversion. Proverbs 17.5 says, If you make fun of poor people, you insult the God who made them. You will be punished if you take pleasure in someone's misfortune. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Life Track, where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, The Poison in Your Mouth, was copyrighted in 1973 
and this Lifetrack sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.